present Jason? They said he was. All right, that's the last thing we need. Fire this baby up. There we go. Right on cue. Welcome back, sir. Good to be back. It's been way too long. Ready for some wind and sun therapy? I am. I sure. hear you. Going on the dolphin watch. Can do a little bit of everything here at Hubbard's. And away they go. Some of our feathered friends. Those are the people wishing they were going fishing. Good to see a few tourists back at the pass. Good Here we go, Bob, the great line toss. In fairness, it was quite a distance last time. Maybe it'll be shorter this time. Oh, much better, much better this time. All right. So what, what can we expect this time? Well, we're uh, headed out a little deeper again this trip. We uh, we had current out there the last time we went out in 150 plus, but last weekend we had relatively small fish up in the middle ground. So we're gonna try to head out deeper and get to some bigger, better fish out here and hopefully some numbers of jacks out there tomorrow. Sounds like a plan, man. Yes, deeper sir. and better. Mm -hmm. Get some wind. Y'all ready for some uh, wind and uh, sun therapy? Yes, sir. All right. Best place to be is on the open sea. That's what and, I said. Uh, yep, that's what I've heard. Doing today. Where are y'all from? Edwardsburg, Michigan. Michigan. Okay. So are y'all violating some order by coming here? I mean, y'all escaping Michigan? Escaping. Escaping Michigan. Well, welcome to Florida. Glad to have you. Yeah. Have you been on the boat before? Never, sir. All right. We come to prove this right. Well, I don't know. Have you watched any of our videos? Watch them all. That's what we're here. Uh, okay. Well, tell that Say that again. Say, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Hey. We watched all the videos. We watched all that salt and the brine, kind of snell hooks, and how to make them hooks. And we come down here to see the real deal for ourselves. Well, I shoot most of the video, at least the fishing part of it. Anyway. Okay. We'll get you on the video. Like I told people down there, they say, where's the best place to fish? I tell them on the video. They're always biting there. We do everything he says. He's spot on right. All right, well, we'll see. Okay. I'll, hopefully, we'll get you something picture worthy, right? There you go. We're glad to have y'all. Yes, sir. All right, so you hear that? People are coming from different distances to get some wind and wave and sun therapy. Maybe some mango therapy. Slide up here to the front. It is a beautiful day here at John's Pass. Kind of towards the tail end of May here. Going on a 39 hour trip. As you can see, the beaches are open. I'd say people are doing a pretty good job of social distancing. That's Madeira Beach. It's usually a little more crowded than the south side here, which is uh, uh, Treasure Island. Comes a, a, a sport fisherman. Can see all the different boats out here jet skis pretty much they got you covered here at john's pass at hubbard marina you see a parasail are off okay, in the distance can. there and we have a man who served his country admirably thank you for your service sir my privilege so what would you say to people uh, about this particular weekend and how special it is memorial day i tell them that some gave all of but all gave some so we're here to remember the ones that didn't make it back. Absolutely. So we have the freedom to go fishing, yes. right? Freedom isn't free, brother. Uh, like my hat, right? Yeah. I don't know if like you've seen hat. this hat. Bob, check it out. Freedom right. ain't free, baby. Right. Thank you for your service. Do it again.
the fish on? Fish is on. All right. I don't know how long. Man, Ron's got something on now. He don't like it. I no. wonder if soon, uh, he is, uh, less than a Cleaning the lens, Bob. <laughs> Just start running around gaffing fish. I'm the line, buddy. He might be going under the boat. Or, get, or just get a coffee. <laughs> Got a veteran on Memorial Day weekend reeling in a fish. A huh? birthday. A birthday veteran. Mr. Calhoun's birthday trip. Amen. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it is. He's got the slow motion technique down pat. I thought I'd see what it was Yeah, you do. We've got about a dozen or more AJs on this spot. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah there's some and big AJs. And this is your second one if you get him yeah. in and he's a keeper, right? right. I, I managed to sneak one in. I popped one off, turned around, and re rigged and went back in and caught one. Same, same way. This is a place to load. I didn't know I had this much line. <laughs> Look at that. Where's all that line coming from? Watch the line. Do you see color yet? No. Oh, God. Well, this is fairly clear water, so. There, I got one. Got a fish. That's an amber check. Go. Go, go run. Go down. Go down. Follow me. No, no, no. Don't walk towards each other. Follow your right, fish. Straighten down. There you we'll go. go. We'll go run. Go, go around. around the bow. Follow your line. Follow, Follow your line. line. Then we got oh, color on this, color. Jason. It's color. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Jason. Jason. Oh, never mind. He got it. As long as he stays hooked and don't get tangled too much, he will eventually whip it. got a little tangle on it. He's it's slightly yeah. entangled. I really appreciate y'all helping me get this fish in because I'd have never done it if without it. Really. Nice fish. Really. Alright, here we are on the final pull of the anchor. Time to head home. Coming off this 39 hour trip. Jason, omnipresent Jason pulling the anchor. overall was pretty slow the first night they bit pretty decently and in the morning but the midday doldrums were as bad as i've ever seen and they basically lasted right up until the last stop where a couple of really nice fish came up a uh, nice scamp and a, at least a 15 pound probably red grouper but overall it was a pretty slow trip the weather was beautiful most people, I think, were grateful to be out here, that's for sure. But that's why they call it fishing and not catching. I ended up doing okay. I got a 
keeper amberjack probably got close to my limit of mangoes may have an actual contender for the jackpot i don't know until i get in there but uh didn't get any keeper grouper did get two big gags one probably in the 15 pound range and one of them uh, got to be about 25 pounds you may see it in the video uh it was uh so if i could have kept what i caught i would have had a jam up trip but that is the way it is a couple of weeks to go before gags open along with uh, the red snapper the sun sunset was incredible tonight here comes the anchor up and there we go i'll give you a quick panoramic view as i say boy do i have an office with a view Get Jason over here. Jason, come tell us about the trip, man. You know what I'm talking about? The uh, trip. Yeah, pulls the anchor uh, the trip. That's, 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 I mean, it was a good trip. It was a, it was a difficult trip. You know, we had uh, still dealing with a lot, of, a lot of current. There was a lot of current here. You know, new moon, something to be expected. We, Not uh, enough wind, too, to get a really good anchor heading. We had some strange winds, kind of like we were in a little vortex there, and just kind of waiting for the tide to change, and it never really got in sync with us as far as wind and tide cooperating and. Uh, being able to feel the bite. The fish were there. The fish were there. They just, you know, they just stirred up and it wasn't the right conditions for them to chew. What we were looking for was a great sunset bite. Didn't, didn't quite materialize. And uh, I'm sure, as, as John has already mentioned, uh, the midday lull was definitely It was apparent. definitely a lull. Yeah, it was, it was something serious. And, uh, you know, we made our efforts. We we moved around. We went to different areas. We, were looking for we got some good uh, wind and sun therapy out here. We did. It was beautiful out. That is one thing that we usually don't have trips in May, or I'm sorry, almost June now that are this nice. I mean, nice breeze. Wasn't even that hot. Right. We did not sweat. Uh, I mean, it was a. Uh, here was comes the fisherman of the day yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back right. the John's Pass. You can see the John's Pass bridge coming up on it right now. Beautiful morning here. A little hazy cloud wise, but. Uh, Looks like it's gonna be a pretty day. I'm not sure what the weather forecast is right now, but it is, uh, it's probably about 70 degrees out here right now. And uh, very, very nice, very calm seas, cause I think the wind's coming pretty much out of the east. Well, the trip overall was pretty slow. The mango bite the first night was about average, did okay. The, uh, the day bite, that midday doldrums was as bad as I've seen it. I mean, we just literally caught basically nothing and it was very frustrating for the captain. So overall the catch, we, we had a couple stops where we did pretty fair on amberjacks. No, no real huge ones, but a good percentage of them were legal. And I'm guessing there's at least 20 on the boat. I got one myself but, and had to release a few. I did catch a couple of really big gags. I caught one early in the trip, about 15 pounds. And then right there in the middle of those doldrums, so you never know, I was soaking a pinfish. Nothing was coming, nothing was happening. I don't even think we hardly caught a fish. And probably right before, well it was, just before he pulled the anchor, all of a sudden, bang! And I ended up catching a grouper. I had to get him out of the rocks and literally had to get him on the anchor pull. And he was probably at least 20, 20 to 25 pounds. So uh, hopefully we will meet again. He was released successfully. Well, we're about two weeks away from gags and red snapper season. But overall, uh, people had a great time. I think this time of year with all that's going on in the country, and certainly I continue to pray for your family. You continue to pray for mine. But people are just glad to be out, out in the wind, sun, therapy ocean air moon therapy although it's a new moon so there wasn't much of that the best place to be is on the open sea so come on down here to hubbard's marina because i can tell you that they got a multitude of ways for you to enjoy the paradise that it is down here at madeira beach well as i say you can see the john's pass bridge we'll be docking soon i'll show you some uh, video of the fish coming off the boat got a 39 hour trip next week not sure what the capacity is i know that at the moment 
and I think it is moment to moment. They're limited in the uh, capacity to 35 people, but contact the office, and or better yet, watch, look at the Hubbard's website. They got a whole page on how they're dealing with this COVID-19 situation and, and see what they can do, because they're, they're trying the best they can, but it is a tough situation, and they have to watch the state of Florida guidelines. I neglected to mention that this is Memorial Day weekend, and I think I feel safe to say for the Hubbard's family that uh, they wish you a safe, happy, prosperous Memorial Day, and thank you so much, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, to the men and women of the armed services who have paid the ultimate price for us to be free so we can go fishing, to be honest with you, because without them, I don't think any of this would be possible. I know it wouldn't. So if you're a family of someone who lost a loved one in, in service to this nation, there's no words other than thank you for, that I can say for that. But have a great, I hope you, by the time you see this video, you've had a wonderful Memorial Day. Weekend. All right, and we're back, literally back and backing in. Watch the expert ropesman here. And the mate, the crew, Will, and the omnipresent Jason are unloading the fish and beginning to pile up. There's a beautiful African pompano. Looked like he had a tough life, but not as tough as this. Something got him in the past. See that right there? These fish have a remarkable ability to heal. That was caught. That fish was caught by the legend himself. Where's Ray? He had a good trip. He caught this and a big red grouper you'll probably see in just a few minutes. And he followed this up from a couple of weeks ago when he caught a 50 plus pound Cabrera snapper. So to say Ray has been on a roll is an understatement. Nice scamp too, yeah. Yeah, he caught a nice scamp too. You can see how well they iced the fish down here. Take great pride in that here Hubbard's Marine. Yeah. All right, I was telling you about the legend of Ray. There's his two fish back to back. And the scamp. And a big scamp, beautiful red grouper. He caught the last fish pretty much caught on the boat. And he caught that, he caught, believe it or not, he caught that uh, pompano, Africa pompano on a chicken rig, fishing for the line. Here we go. Throwing the fish up. Nice stringer, man. There's the Pompano and the red grouper that Uncle Ray caught. Come get your pop and no, Ray. And your grouper, Ray. Look at that. Well, he wouldn't have to put both of them at the same time. I can't carry two. Ah, uh, quit showing off. I do too. Grab that grouper by the eyeballs. Put one finger in each eyeball. Like clamp it with your thumb in there, and you'll pick him right up. Did I? Hey, you learn something every day, right? This way, this direction, Sean. So this is what you come here for. I'm gonna open up Ray's cooler. You start with an empty cooler, and then if you do well, you end up filling it up with fish like this. Check it out. 
Good job, Ray. Thank you, John. You made it all possible, buddy. You made it all possible. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Check it out. All right. It's too nice fish. That Real is. Nice fish. That is. No doubt. Okay, I got a group go get the rest of your, oh, you got a scamp to go, I know. Yeah. Don't worry about it, oh, you oh, shut up, you got grouper and scamp. And he's talking about me. Look at that, show off on the bow. Good job, sir. Here's That's what you it. come to Hubbard's for. You start with an empty cooler, and then you fill it up with some meat, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, yeah. Come on, Kurt. High string. How much did the group weigh? 18, 7, I, I thought it was close to 20. He said, that thing must be about 30 pounds. I said, nah, I'm, not, I'm not sure. That big house. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. He's touching the ground, too. 26.5 touching the ground. That's an am a greater amberjack. Greater amberjack, mangrove snapper, mangrove. You called my right. lesson. That's gonna do it for me. You wanna see a, here's my cooler. Good, okay. Got the jackpot mango, that's what counts. These people are getting ready to go on the all day trip. Checking bags. These, I'm good. Good luck to you. These people are about to do the all-day trip. Tony Kramer. Tony Kramer. Captain Dylan Hubbard is doing his social distancing here at the dock by calling people by groups. Well, that's going to end it for today, except for one last thing. No trip is complete here at Hubbard's Marina without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina that make it all possible. Good morning. How are you? These are these gals are the brain center of this place, the nerve center. Good morning. And that's going to be a wrap. Lord willing, I'll be back next week. Remember what old Wilson said, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy.